You know the Capricorn or an Aquarius, you could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius, you could double in reverse. <sighs> Congratulations on the promotion. You'll be receiving good news if you're in a relationship, your significant other feels like it's meant to be. Now, you guys are just supposed to be together. They could be Aquarius, of course, or New York Square. And Aries, a Sagittarius, no features of Pisces or Capricorn. Okay. Or you could be one. So you have the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. This could be Pisces, no features of energy. You have Jimmy Jackson, Hell. You've got Christina Aguilera, Tony Braxton, and you have TLC. So T Boz, Lisa, Left Eye Lopez, and you also have Chili. You have Brandy, along with your Monica, Celine Dion is out here. You have Madonna, you have Whitney Houston, and the lovely Britney Spears. Okay. You have the page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fuchsia, Pisces, Energy. You have the World, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Energy. Michael Jordan, so the number 21 or 23 could be significant to you. The King of Pentacles, King of Midas, everything you touch on is So Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarian Energy, with the Human Energy, being the Devil, the Universe, Capricorn, Aquarius Energy. Okay. So if you're in a relationship, it is a very healthy relationship. Someone's also pregnant with a boy. Congratulations. They may go into liking basketball or sports of some kind. You can like basketball. Okay. You're hearing the truth from somebody really far away. If you're in a relationship, you're receiving really good news from your significant other. Like, who's really wanted to hear from the masculine energy? Masculine energy is to take it upon themselves to communicate really good news to you. They're also very faithful in the relationship. Okay? They like being in a relationship. They love being in a relationship. They like how consistent it is. Your significant other, the masculine energy doesn't really switch it up. They're very consistent day to day with their routine, what they like to do. It's like to notice that about the past you appreciate it. The more you appreciate it, the more they do it. Which means you'll continue to have a faithful, loving relationship. And if you're masculine energy, you will continue to succeed in your career. We'll be surprised if you're in the future. Um, anything you want to invest in or you want to put your time and effort into regarding career will work out in your favor. Okay? And you are receiving the truth from somebody who's really far away that you feel like is always going on adventures and you feel like it's just a very useful energy. I feel like you also could have a son or a child, but then you're also very excited. You're very excited that one cycle is closing because you're victorious in other sections in your life. So this, if this is career, right, you're a man or a woman, people are going to you. They're looking to you, okay? Meaning if you are, you own a donut shop, and you are competing with five other different donut brands out there of other shops that are on your street. They're going to go to you. The customers are going to go to your donut shop. You will succeed. If you're an athlete, you will be victorious. You will win the competition. Okay? If this is love, you will stand out above the competition if you 
you are in, uh, if you are single, you're like, you stand out above the competition. Okay? If you're in a relationship, your significant other feels like you are everything that they want. All that and a bag of chips. Okay? You're everything that they could have ever wanted. They are extremely satisfied by you. They view you as a whole wide world. Someone could be a world away. They could be as far as could be a distance. They want to be at a distance. Receiving messages from someone at a distance. And it's really good news if you're in a relationship. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you're at a distance from your significant other, but receiving really good news from that person. Um, spending a lot of time with your child. I feel like your child has a lot of energy during this time. Embrace it fun with it, uh, the more you embrace their energy and you don't see it as a father, the more excited they will be about life and just about their ambitions and they'll be willing to learn. Okay, if you're trying to teach them something, they'll be willing to learn it more because you're embracing the fact that they're happy and excited about something for us. It's not toxic. Um, I see you could have kicked an addiction, you could have kicked like, just toxicity, you could have been a mindset. A lot of times people are in a negative mindset they have absolutely no you can either feel justified by it, or they're so stuck in what's happened, they can't see where they're going. They can't see what could happen for them. If they were to let go of what's already occurred, right? Because what occurred happened for a reason, for you to not repeat it, and for something new to happen. There's been an attachment for you with the devil in reverse of the physical manifestation, okay? Of, um, you know, the devil represents Jehovah, it represents what you can feel, see. Touch and how we as human beings can easily become addicted to what we can feel, see, taste, and touch, even though it's not real. Right? We are convinced and told in, in numerous amounts of ways from the universe that it is real. Why? Because if we woke up one day and said, No, it's not real, we would stop going to that job that maybe we hate, we would stop being in those connections. We we would stop feeding, right? You just go into that job rather than you don't enjoy, you don't like, right? It's still helping someone who's in a higher position, a CEO, a manager. It's helping someone, right? At the cost of your own happiness, they're still getting their check. They're still getting their raise. They're still getting whatever it is that they want. You're still, you know, making those payments to that car. You're still paying for that home that maybe you know, the most good, but you like to do with it without it. If you woke up one day and said, hmm, this isn't real. This home isn't real. This car isn't real. These things that we sacrifice our happiness, our joy, our souls for, right? Our happiness. If you woke up one day and said, hey, it's not real. You stop going to that um, connection you don't like, or that uh, job you don't like, or that world, that, that energy, that whatever it is that you do not like. And you would instead do something that makes you happy, which would then shine brightly to other people for them to do the same. You have detached away from what you can feel, see, taste, and touch. You hope that this isn't real. You know, nothing in this world is real. And in that aspect, you do release control. You recognize that you are of your own consciousness. You detach away from what you've always been taught and told to believe. And you then set an example and lead a rebellion. It is rebellious to be you. It is rebellious to do exactly what Jesus was saying, right? Was saying, don't do things because you can maybe get money from it or maybe you're going to get attention from it or you're going to get something from it that you should, you should really just be giving to yourself. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Do it because it helps somebody, right? When we talk about God, believing in God, and, and you know, wanting to be able to believe and see.
receive and surrender, right? We have to ask why the God we believe is asleep. Right? We're saying Jehovah, right? It's Capricorn, it's Saturn, it's um, Saturn, Satan, Dharma, Karma. It's all the same name, all the same person, Jehovah. It's all the same, it's all the same name, it's all the same thing. All said in different religions. But ultimately, when we say, why is God asleep? And you say, well, Sydney, I don't understand. I, I believe in God, so, so why is God asleep? If Jehovah created all these things that we can feel, Phil, see, taste, and touch, he was God. God is the God that created this in the world. Even when we did not know the belief that we should still exist and be that there's some type of purpose that we have on this earth to be able to help other people. So why is God asleep? The God that we believe, right? Not Jehovah, the one that created all this stuff, but the God that we believe, right? The one that formed us in the womb, I believe we actually should have some purpose here. That knew us even before we knew ourselves. That's powerful. That's deep. Knew us in the stars before we knew ourselves. That's Why is God asleep? You have to ask yourself. If God is inside of you, just like God is inside of me, right? God formed us in the womb. When we did not know Why is God asleep? And I can keep asking you that question, why is God asleep? If God's inside of you, like God's inside of me, Jehovah represents Capricorn Aquarian energy. Why is God asleep? God is only as awake as I am. God is only as awake as you are. God is only as awake as we as individuals decide to be awake and enlightened. Now do you think why is God asleep? I don't know. You can tell me why is God asleep. In your life, why is God asleep? Right? Because the devil's in reverse, it says that you've woken up. That you've awakened. That you are you have awakened. You know why God is asleep. Therefore, on some level, God is awake. And that is so beautiful. You're very giving. If you're a masculine, you're very traditional. Everything. I mean, you could you could work in sports. I feel like you could be like a sports host, sports reporter, a father. If you're a father, a very good father, you can work in um, finances. Some of you guys work with nature, or you could even work with health. Um, the public eye, anything involving the public eye or electricity, technology. Um, fraternities for some of you guys, religion, um, you can rap, dance, act, sing. If you're in a relationship, your significant other wants to be seen with you in public, or you want to be seen with your significant other in public.
So something is happening right now in their presence. And it's something that maybe wasn't very easy, but you learn from it. And now you see the positive thing. Okay? But you're also learning unconditional love right now. You could rap, dance, act, sing, and you can swing in the public eye. Okay? If you're um, going through a very difficult time right now, there's somebody coming into your life, sort of like an angel. It's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for sending me this person. Okay? If you are in a relationship, you feel like, oh my gosh, this is really rare. This is a relationship that is not, it doesn't just come around very often. I appreciate this relationship. I appreciate this person. Okay? And there's a lot of love that you have for yourself. You're very beautiful during this time. This is your energy as well as Aries is like your energy, more psychological, not very animalistic. Meaning everything is thought out from every angle before it's actually executed in the present. Um, also, you're the first person that people recognize when they walk into the room. But you can be dealing with somebody who is in this energy. Venus and Leo is a vibration of someone who loves themselves and feels so good about themselves that they attract people so easily, like bees to honey, because those people know that if you are capable of loving yourself, well, you're capable of loving me too. And that's very attractive. Okay? I call in Libra's deceased loved ones, spirit guides, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides of the light, deceased loved ones of the light. Thank you so much. You can call any deceased level of spirit guides, ancestors, the super master spirit guides, the light deceased level of spirit guides. Something about an iris, which would be the flower, an actual eye, and an eyeball. Here. You're looking at your connections, like who can you trust, and you're looking at your finances. You're also looking at your health. You do want love. If you're trying to figure out who can you trust, who's your friends, who are your enemies, and how can you attract in financial abundance? Not just in the present, but in the future year. You're also looking at work, like what type of career works best for you. Or how your career is going. You are hesitant when it comes to love. Like you're trying to figure out how to approach love. How to show love to somebody. And there's actual mutual love coming in. So if you're single, there's someone who's around you who's a masculine energy that is interested in a relationship with you, interested in love, really likes you, okay? Believes you have everything that they're looking for on their checklist. And if you're in a relationship, you're the masculine energy is very faithful. The feminine energy is very popular. Okay? Um, um, I know some of these, some of their signs. Um, maybe spirits and Ophelia. If you don't know Ophelia, it's Sagittarius, Pisces. Maybe Easter was. Maybe Aries. I wish you had Mars and Libra, or Venus and Leo. Jan Jackson has a rising sun in Scorpio. She also has Taurus and Aries in her chart. Very heavy. So you can be dealing with any of the signs. Madonna, a moon in Virgo. I think she also has sun in Virgo as well. Um, Venus and Leo as well. I know this because I have a moon in Virgo, rising sun in Scorpio. And then a Mercury, Venus, and Leo with a Mars in so a lot of times I know other people who have similar placements. And a lot of them have some of those places. You could 
you know, you're dealing with a burglar, you got a burglar in the car. You can be dealing with any of those signs, okay? Of course, there's other signs and other aspects here. So I'll let you just really look at it, okay? Maybe you see somebody who also has another place where they resonate with you. Oh, yeah, we both have the same signs. After a difficult time, it's finally over. This has been your reading. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sit. Hush. 